you're going to learn is what is Azure DevOps, why companies are using Azure DevOps, right? What are the different uh, service offering from Azure DevOps, and then how you can uh, migrate applications into Azure Cloud using Azure DevOps, right? How to get started? That's what we are going to discuss in this short video. So what is Azure DevOps? So Azure DevOps is, you know, it's a Microsoft cloud-based offering platform. So they are actually giving us the whole end-to-end -end DevOps tool chain. Azure DevOps has five different offerings, starting from Azure Board, which is nothing but the project management capability, such as Jira or Rally, and Azure Repos, which is like uh, setting up your uh, source code management and whatnot, right? So you don't have to go for Bitbucket or GitHub or GitLab. Right? You can set up your source code and application code, everything in Azure Repos itself, right? And then there is something called Azure Pipelines. It's nothing but, you know, similar to Jenkins or any continuous integration tools, right? So you can um, automate your build process, automate your deployment process and testing process using a pipeline uh, capability, right? And then they also have something called Azure Test Plan. This is mainly for uh, QA team where if you want to plan your, uh, you know, uh, test automation and whatnot, right? So you can use this uh, utility okay and then azure artifacts so this is nothing but uh, similar to nexus or artifactory uh, where you know you can leverage azure artifacts to store and then you know um, you, you can use in your pipeline before you actually deploy into azure cloud and whatnot okay so that's what right so this is the whole end to end offering from azure devops okay so basically all in one platform Okay, so how you can migrate applications into Azure Cloud, right? So like I mentioned, Azure DevOps is a complete end-to-end, -end, uh, you know, platform, right? Uh, so it has all five capabilities over here, right? Using this Azure pipeline, you can migrate applications from Bitbucket or you can migrate applications from GitHub or any source code management systems, right? So you can migrate any applications uh, into Azure Cloud using this Azure pipeline, right? Azure DevOps also has in a bunch of plugins supported, right? So you can integrate with SonarCube, you can integrate with Slack, you can integrate with Artifactory, right? So this is like a whole whole platform for you, right? So, so let's say you have a web application, right? Let's say you have a Java application or .NET or PHP or Python, it doesn't matter, right? So if you have decided to migrate into Azure Cloud, how can you do that, right? So what you'll have to do is you need to create something called web app, right? So web app is nothing but it's a platform as a service capability or, you know, it's kind of an app service where, you know, you can uh, deploy any kind of applications, okay? So yeah, so this is how you can migrate apps into Azure Cloud, okay? Let's say you have made a decision to learn Azure DevOps, right? So how can you get started, isn't it? So what you need to do is you need to uh, log in into this link, right? So you need to sign up for Azure DevOps, right? So when you click on this particular link, it will ask you, for example, when you click on this link, it will ask you to you know sign up here, right? So you either you can start free or you can also um, sign up using your GitHub account as well. So that's how you know you are going to get started on your Azure DevOps account. Once you do that. And then, you know, you can also sign up for Azure Cloud as well, right? So when you click on here, so, you know, they are giving you 12 months of free service, right? So you can also start free, click on start free, and then start signing up for your Azure, uh, you know, cloud account as well. So that's how, guys, you know, that's how you can get started on Azure DevOps and then Azure Cloud. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching, guys.